What's up everybody, welcome on back to the channel. Today we're gonna to be discussing a little bit about the season three reloaded update that's just around the corner and we now know exactly when it's gonna be. Not only are we gonna be running through everything that's gonna be coming with this reloaded update, but then I'm gonna give you guys some tips on what you can do to get yourselves prepared. If you guys are into zombies content or anything Call of Duty, be sure to drop the video a like and subscribe to the channel. We just hit 15,000 subscribers and we're already well on the road to 16. I cannot thank everybody enough for all the insane support on the channel here lately. We're gonna be getting into everything about this update, but really quick, I need to give a huge shout out to today's sponsor. If you guys are looking to unlock the new MW3 camos such as Interstellar or Borealis or possibly even play in some bot lobbies or get all the best schematics in Modern Warfare Zombies then be sure to check out Mitch Cactus. They're the biggest and most reliable sellers with heaps of brand new offerings for MW3 with completely safe and legitimate services for Xbox, Playstation, and PC. With thousands of great reviews on Trustpilot you guys should definitely check them out. Be sure to use code REALG at checkout for 5% off your entire order for a limited time only. So finally our Season 3 Reloaded update is just around the corner and we know exactly when it's going to be hitting and we're getting finally some new content in zombies we take a look at our battle pass here we have a classified section that is available to us in 12 days which is going to be may 1st which lines up just about right with our other seasons in between the times that we've had in between our reloaded updates i know we've discussed this on the channel already but i'm going to quickly summarize what's going to be coming with the season 3 reloaded update just to catch some people up to speed really quick we take a look over here what they posted on the call of duty vlog post we pretty much got four main points of interest of course we're going to be having another story mission and in this one we're going to be pretty much rescuing Dr. Jensen from the Dark Ether. We're also going to be getting a new Dark Ether Rift, which we now know is going to be taking place down at the Hydro Plant in Almazra. And of course, just like with all of the previous Dark Ethers, this is how we are going to be unlocking our three new schematics. We're going to be getting the Deadwire Detonators, which is going to be applying Deadwire to not only your launcher ammo, but also to your lethals and tacticals. We're going to be getting the Golden Gas Mask Filter, which is basically a regenerating gas mask. And we're also going to be getting the Sergeant's Beret, which is going to make you invisible to those mercenaries, or at least blend in with them. And lastly, we are also going to be getting a new warlord called the Rainmaker. Now, this guy is apparently an expert in explosives, and he's going to be held up in that little island that's just across from the mansion. I don't know about you guys, but I find the warlords to be probably the absolute most least interesting part of Modern Warfare Zombies. At least that's just to me personally. Like, I really wish they would just take out all this human AI and actually give us some more zombie bosses. That would be nice. Now, that roughly does kind of sum up what we're going to be getting for the reloaded update. Now, of course, there's going to be a lot of other things that we're going to be doing along the way like there's going to be that little easter egg quest where we're going to have to be collecting the items in order to open up the dark ether and then we're going to have to do something in order to upgrade those items we could go on inside and try to get these schematics now i have a couple of things that you guys can do just to be kind of prepared for doing this the first thing that i can tell you guys to do is try not to use any of your schematics that have a three day cooldown a couple of days before this update launches if you have a couple of those few extra spare items built up in your stash then yeah that's cool but i would suggest just saving these things because we don't really know how difficult the, these things are going to be once we get them. Definitely having things like some golden armor plates and like an ether blade is really going to help you guys out when we're trying to get in here. Another thing that I can really highly advise you guys to do is with our last new dark ether is we didn't have to go in and get another new elder sigil. If you had an elder sigil in your stash, you should just be able to walk up to the new dark ether portal and put that elder sigil in there and go in and try to get the new schematics. So hopefully that could save you guys a run without having to go in there and do the regular dark ether you can just go in there into the elder right off the bat and hopefully get yourself or some of your buddies those new schematics also usually whenever we get these new updates it takes quite a few runs before we officially get everything done so what i would advise you guys to do is build up a nice little stash of legendary ether tools so you can have four or five of these things built up and ready to go on launch day now, if you have the schematic for the legendary ether tool it's going to make this a thousand times easier now, you can craft the legendary ether tool every 24 hours so what i would advise you guys to do is just a couple of days before the update goes live try not to use any legendary ether tools but make sure you craft one every single day and just throw it in your backpack and save it trust me you guys can get by on just epic and rare ether tools just fine as long as you're using the right guns and the right setups another thing that also never hurts is that if you have a scorcher and if you have the depth perception perk on what i would advise you guys to do is immediately when you start the match just go straight into the red tier zone and with the depth perception perk on it's going to make it seeing those ether crates through walls really easy and you can actually find those legendary ether tools and those crates out there of course you could do this without the scorcher but the reason why i would say bring in the scorcher is because a lot of times i think people don't be finding these things out there just because they end up getting out there a little bit late especially lately with how overrun that the red zone can be there's god they really need to fix that it's too small lately i've just been getting some absolutely insane pulls out of these crates so they're definitely worth checking as long as you're doing this and doing contracts inside the red tier zone and if you're making trips into the dark ether you have chances of finding legendary 
legendary ether tools while doing any of these things and if you find them just go ahead and stash them i think all of this should apply to the flawless crystals as well i think you guys should be trying to save up a few of those but those have a three day cooldown timer on them so i would just suggest to not use that one within the three days coming up to uh, the launch of the update i'm just saying it's gonna suck if launch day comes and you guys have nothing good to use and all of your schematics and everything are on cooldown which does bring me to the last couple of things about this update these ones are definitely big first is going to be the one thing that the entire community has been asking for since the very launch of this game is we are finally going to be getting a stash increase now finally instead of only being able to hold 10 items inside of your stash you're going to be able to hold 20 now i know there is going to be some people that wish it was a bit higher but 20 is definitely way better than 10 i personally wish they would have done something a little bit else with the stash system now i think it would have been really cool if they actually tied each operator with their own stash and actually made it so each operator could increase their stash limit and if they died it would completely wipe that stash It'd be a very similar system to the containment level system that the operators have but with a stash limit i think that would have been way cooler than just increasing it a little bit also with this update we're finally going to be seeing a way to reduce the cooldown timers on our schematics now apparently this is going to work the same way as it does with like our cooldown timers with our weapons we're just going to be having to extract with essence and that's going to be going towards the cooldown timers now, like i've said before i just really hope that it's not something completely absurd like only a hundred thousand k essence only gets rid of like 10 minutes or something like that hopefully they're actually a little bit more reasonable with what we got to extract with but i am definitely glad that we finally have something but lastly i just really wish that they would have given us a new zombie boss variant to come along with this season who knows we we are supposedly supposed to be getting that disciple variant inside the new dark ether maybe that guy will be like an actual boss but i'm not really gonna hold my breath i have a feeling he's just gonna be kind of like we saw with the mangler in this previous season who knows since this is the last little bit of content that treyarch actually worked on for this mode maybe they want to go out with a bang and they have something kind of cool up their sleeves that's going to be about it guys let me know down in the comment section how you guys are feeling about this new update that's just around the corner what part are you mainly most excited for maybe the new dark ether maybe having some new schematics personally for me i think i'm most excited about the new dark ether i really hope that it is a little bit more difficult than the one that we saw with our previous season i'm not really counting on them to do anything completely outlandish or anything but what i would love for them to do is go back and do what they kind of did with the first dark ether and give us a little bit more things to do in there maybe put some more locked rooms keys wonder weapon spots maybe some little hidden easter eggs for us to do here and there give me a little bit more of a reason to hang out inside the dark ether and a little bit more things to do so giving us one little round based area like they did in vanguard would absolutely blow my mind <laughs> thank you guys all so much for checking out the video i greatly do appreciate it be sure to drop it a like if you did enjoy it or if you found it all informative subscribe to the channel if anybody is new let's see if we can hit this 16k by the end of the month again thank you all very much have a wonderful day and i will catch you in the next one